ACDC thing. Nice. How are you guys doing? It is uh, Saturday, early afternoon. I got my Toronto jersey on. The Leafs are playing the Lightning tonight. Good luck to the Leafs. I'm also headed down to Jolly Bee to celebrate 25 years being in business. And I'm, I'm guessing it started in the Philippines and then came to the United States and then finally came to Canada. And I think the very first Jolly Bee in Canada, possibly, I might be getting this mixed up, either Winnipeg or uh, Calgary. And I'm, I might be getting Calgary mixed up with Chick-fil-A because the Calgary airport was the first Chick-fil-A, I believe, in Canada. And now it's spreading like wildfire. But uh, so I'm headed down to Jollibee to do that. And uh, they have like three celebration meals on their menu and they're all $25 each. Um, and I'm picking the one that I think I could probably eat all the food. I've already done a bucket of chicken and that's one of the one of the things. So that there's the six piece uh, bucket plus uh, two, I guess the mango pies. That's their favorite famous thing. So then they also have like three sandwiches for $25, which I've done their sandwiches too. And then you can have basically two meals, two can dine for $25. That's kind of what it is. I think it's two drinks, two sides, two gravies and two pieces of chicken each. So I think I can do that because then I can do, you know, two uh, spicy, two normal. I could have French fries on one of them mashed potatoes on the other one and then maybe two different drinks I don't know what I'm gonna do about the drinks again I'm trying to limit myself from drinking any sugar or adding sugar to any food that I consume like I used to I used to do like all these back in the day guys as you remember I always got the whole meal I always upsized it because I wanted it to be I wanted to show you how much this whole meal costs at like the largest size possible and I'd eat it all but it's not good for you to do all the time and I was doing three videos like that a week so that's not good so I've recently tried very hard to cut out doing any pop in my life and I've been doing that I can't remember when I really stopped doing pop or soda as you Americans call it uh, I know a lot of Americans call it pop too but uh, I call it pop. Anyway, so ever since I've stopped doing that, when I go to these restaurants and stuff and I see their pot machines, I just I doesn't even it doesn't even intrigue me anymore. I've gotten to that stage over the last three and a half years of doing intermittent fasting, dropping uh, sugar out of my coffee or adding sugar to my coffee. That took a while to get used to. Uh, now I love my coffee black. I love just drinking water or I bring bring this along with my electrolytes in it and uh, I'm fine and, and, and the money I'm saving not getting that large soda drink is uh, beneficial for me and you and I know a lot of you guys are trying to start to drink just water and, and uh, cut out the pop. Pop like it's the number one worst thing on the planet for you um, uh, and also what did I just I just learned something about the diet pops you know that's all chemicals like sure there's no calories but it's all it's if you saw the trucks drive in to the soda companies the different chemical trucks that came in dropping off their chemicals to make a drink that you consume would, would probably make you, your stomach turn and a lot of people you know they want their pop but if you, like I said, if you can get used to drinking club soda like I have, then you're better off because there's nothing in it. It's just water and carbonation and a little bit of sodium, which you need. You need sodium in your life. Anyway, so <laughs> there's my little ramble for this morning. Uh, got it. Hit a nice little uh, bump there. So, yep, this morning got up, finished the vlog threw it up for you guys thanks for all the comments on that blog 
and uh, started answering comments on the video I put up yesterday. Somebody on the vlog channel suggested that I add to the title like 24 hour hike in the, Adiron on, in the Adirondacks and uh, so I did. So that was a good tip because uh, he said, you know, the, the video looks like it's a food video but it's got this another huge achievement for us and uh, so I'm almost thinking about like re-editing it and putting it up on this channel as a 20, 20 hour hike 10,000 calorie burn video and I've never burned I don't think I've ever burned 10,000 calories before I don't think I've ever walked or hiked for 20 hours that was crazy anyway and I uh, will probably do it again I think we are Paul's got a whole bunch of trips planned out we're gonna try not to kill ourselves but the more hikes we do the better we'll get at it and our we won't be suffering as much because our muscles be used to carrying our old bodies through the bushes anyway let's get down to I, I think it's North York I can't remember what it's called North York or not we'll get down to Jollibee and get this video shot let's go Just finished the Jolly Bee video and it's a little too windy to fly my drone so I got my cutaway shots already I don't need any more than that and uh, now we're gonna head home uh, there's my keys it's always good to know where you put your keys oh you're missing it buddy all right so let's slowly get out of the spot it is, this is a very, very busy plaza. There's a bunch of restaurants and a beer store here and a couple other shops. And uh, the parking lot's almost full. Ooh, check out this car. Nice, 1930 something, very nice. Gotta hit the ways, click home. Carol said we were going to do chicken tonight, but I don't think I will because <laughs> I am done. This is great chaos. People are just stopped everywhere, possibly waiting for a spot. Everybody's coming out from every single direction. Okay, so I am in this parking lot. I bet I'm going to go the wrong way. No, this should be the right way. Just... Oh yeah, I nailed it. We are going the right way. Often I'll hit it and it takes a couple seconds, maybe even a minute to like understand which way you're facing and which way you're moving, especially when you're in a parking lot and you end up going out the wrong exit. I just lost my fork. I want to make sure I bring that in. Get that washed up. Had a great day today. Again, getting that video out to you guys. You guys could watch something today on the Saturday. And then got down to here. It's a crappy day. It's really windy. Not a great day when it's pretty much gray clouds right across the sky in every single direction. Kind of is a bit of a downer. But when you go to Jollibee and you get to eat what I just ate, it's a, it's a, it's a pick-me-up. sure is. Just an update on my watch. The trip, when you, when you have... The watch and you have fitness running like a hike fitness at, um, program running on this watch it lasted about 12 hours and then it died and uh, I did do some research on this watch before I bought it and there was a, a gentleman who does hikes and he said that only it'll only last 12 hours so I did bring my charging unit but uh, it does it doesn't I need like a, a, a charging unit that pushes power out a little bit more I'm not sure how much this can accept, how fast it can charge, but we did stop for a bit and plug it in, but it wasn't charging fast, nearly fast enough to get me out of uh, 
that predicament and also have all my stats and stuff because it would have been lo I would have loved to have known exactly how many calories I burned, how many steps I took, but all that got wiped out when the phone died or sorry when the watch died. But uh, I charged it up when I got home Wednesday night, put it on the charger, woke up Thursday, put the watch on, wore it all Thursday, all Friday, and all today, and we are down to 52%. So compare this to my Apple III watch, like I have, you have to charge it every night for it to work more than one day. And uh, there's a truck up ahead, like a tanker truck, and his... I guess he changed lanes really quick and the whole thing was sloshing back and forth. It kind of freaked me out for a second. Got 3.5 kilometers before I had to head north on the 400. But like I said, I think in the past video, I need to learn how to shut a lot of the features off on this watch. Like right now, I can, I'm not raising my arm to look at my watch. Just like looking out of the corner of my eye, it's on, but it's dimmed. And that's one of the things you can adjust so that it doesn't show it dimmed ever until you raise it. Then it shows you the time. So I gotta learn how to shut that off. I gotta learn how to shut off other features that possibly drain the battery when I'm on those long hikes. hikes. Uh, the other thing too, is, and I did screw up, uh, when we sat for, I don't know, 40 minutes uh, at the summit of one of the places, I think it was between Haystack and Little Haystack, we were down that little valley thing. Um, I should have plugged everything in and I was more concerned about eating, which was a good choice. <laughs> Eat or like screw around trying to plug things in. So I'm gonna have to try to make sure I put my head to it and uh, make sure I uh, plug my stuff in halfway through hikes so that I don't lose my data. Or Paul's, Paul said his Fitbit um, lasts like I don't know, six, seven days, even when he, I'm not sure if when he does like a, an activity thing, like a hike or a walk or whatever, how much power that uses, but uh, that's another option to get that, put it on my other hand, I don't know, they're like $150, I believe, I think that's what he told me. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me guys today, and uh, we are going to take a nice leisurely drive home and uh, hang out with Carol for the rest of the day. All right, talk to you, bye.